Hey friends, today I'll be sharing with you how I created this awesome Chinese calligraphy design using the Cricut machine. Okay guys, first things first, we have to write out the characters that we want to transform into a vinyl. So here I am rewriting the characters Lang Bao, which happens to be in my home language Cantonese and um, I made the mistake of not keeping the original. Um, so here I am just rewriting the characters and you just want to make sure that you're writing each stroke uh, neatly. So no rush there, just take your time. There you have it. And also just want to quickly mention that I am using the brush pen um, by Tombow ABT and this is in the shade N15 and I'm using the brush tip side. This is my all time favorite. And I just want to quickly mention that uh, with all calligraphy pieces that I do, I like to um, do some editing on my phone. So adjust the contrast setting all the way to 100 and brightness as well. And I also like to crop it to a rectangular size. And then once you're happy with the cropping, you can hit done. And like all calligraphy pieces that I do, I like to airdrop it to my MacBook. It just makes life 10 times easier instead of email it back and forth to my email. So once that's been uh, transferred to your MacBook, you want to go to Illustrator and open that JPEG. And whoa, it's super zoomed in. So you want to reduce the size. Okay, that looks better. And I like to move it to the gray area just so when I vectorize it, I can see the white spaces that I need to remove. So you wanna click image trace, click okay. And then you wanna hit expand. Now the magic happens. So just double click on the image and hit delete. And then just go ahead and remove any white spaces that you don't want. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And now we can drag the characters by highlighting both and just move it back to the canvas. And because, just for printing purposes, it doesn't really matter if it's horizontal or vertical. I like it vertical, just so I can see that the characters are in proportion. All right, that looks pretty good. And then we can go ahead and hit save. And just save it as whatever you want. In this case, I'll save it as hot af to my downloads and click OK. OK, so we want to go on Photoshop and open that AI file. Click OK. And what I like to do is um, readjust the cropping because sometimes the strokes do get cut off for some odd reason. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. So click tick and we want to hit save as PNG. Okay, once we're done with that, you want to open your Cricut Design Space and upload that PNG file that we just saved on Photoshop. And we want to open it and upload it as simple. And you just want to reduce the size of that. Continue. And we want to save as a cut image. Once you're done with that, we're going to upload that onto our new design space. And whoa, it's super zoomed in. Let's just readjust the settings by unlocking the padlock and put the uh, width as 5.5 centimeters and the height to 10 centimeters. Um, this is the uh, dimensions I typically like to put on any um, surfaces like glass, um, thermos or your iPhone case. And make sure to save that design as well. Okay, and you wanna click make it. 
and it should bring you to a screen like this where you can see the layout of the vinyl onto the uh, grip mat and here I am just eyeballing um, how much I need because we don't want to waste a lot of vinyl we know how expensive they can be so but you'll eventually find your own way of um, measuring it out in the best way possible And then you want to select adhesive oil and I have to set the pressure to more just to make sure that I get every stroke cut. When the arrow is flashing you can load that up and then when you see the cricket icon flashing that means it's ready to be cut. And enjoy this time lapse. As you can see it's been done and we can click onto that flashing arrow and it will unload that for you and now you can peel off the mat. Ah, this is what it looks like when you've removed it from the Cricut machine and it is stunning. And now it's ready to be transferred to the transfer tape. Now I'm going to take my vinyl and just measure it out onto the transfer tape and make sure that I'm not wasting um, as much transfer tape as possible. And there we go. And now we are on to removing the vinyl and revealing the characters. As you can see, I am not a fan of using the Cricut Weeder to remove the vinyl because I've tried it before and um, it's just ripped parts of the characters out and I wasn't a fan of it. See, I don't even know why I'm, I'm bothering <laughs> with the Weeder. And you'll see in a minute um, that I've completely given up on it and I decided to use my fingers which is a much more um, gentle approach to removing the unwanted vinyl parts of it and this is not in real speed by the way so um, just take your time and remove the bits that you don't want and there you have it. I am also not a fan of the scraper that comes with the Cricut tools and I like to use a cotton scrunchie to apply the um, transfer paper to the design and I find it to be um, yeah, very effective and it doesn't leave any weird lines on my design. And this is the fun part where I put the design facing um, down on the table and just gently removing the back of the transfer tape and look at that stunning I can't believe I forgot to mention this um, but before applying any vinyl to any surface area I like to um, prepare the surface with some alcohol wipes just to remove any um, finger marks dust and make sure that it is nice and clean for us to apply the vinyl and it will stick better as well and here I am just splitting the characters into two and because we're using um, a glass candle um, I just want to make sure that is an even application and again going in with my cotton scrunchie and just rub that in making sure that the strokes adhere to the glass and now time for the reveal look at that guys oh and that's done and I like to use the transfer tape and just um, gently pat it in to remove any residue that came with the transfer tape and once you're done with that we can go ahead and apply the second character and just measure it out make sure that it's even and then going in with the cotton scrunchie and apply that onto the glass and make sure that the strokes are sticking to the glass and once you're happy with it just remove it gently this is my favorite part by the way and I'm sure it's everyone's favorite part and again using the transfer tape and removing any residue and there you have it it's all done guys this is the final look of it I am obsessed look at the rose gold it is very very pretty I hope you found this tutorial extra helpful and would love to hear some feedback from you in the meantime take care and stay safe